Bubble tea, boba, milk tea, pearl tea. It's known by a lot of different names, but the one thing that it has in common is that it has taken the world by storm as well as our hearts. Hi guys, my name is Emma. Welcome back to my channel. I love bubble tea and I'm actually very fortunate. The first time I ever tried it is when I was in Taiwan. It changed my entire life. I'm gonna be completely honest. From first sip, black milk tea, half sugar, boba, less ice. And that became essentially my favorite order forever. The thing that kills me is how how unhealthy it is. So what I learned is that if you get a 16 ounce cup of bubble tea, it can come into 299 calories with 38 grams of sugar. And if you get a 32 ounce or perhaps a large, 448 calories and up to 57 grams of sugar. That's horrible. You are basically drinking dessert. This is not something you can have often. And I will freely admit in college, I drank this stuff on the weekly, if not once to maybe twice a week. I even got into the habit now of I felt that I was spending so much on boba, I bought stuff to make it myself at home. Then this ad popped up on Instagram. And of course, I try to be very careful about Instagram ads, but this one actually caught my attention. So this is where our story begins with Bubba. So the creator of the company, Diana, loves to create healthy alternatives to things. And one of her favorite drinks was bubble tea. And she wanted to find a way to have a healthier alternative to one of her favorite drinks. So I went ahead and I ordered all three. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox this, give it a taste test, and see if you can truly make a healthy version of bubble tea, because I just feel like you know, that sugar makes it wonderful. So let's see if a healthy version is actually going to work and see if it can actually potentially pair up to if going to a bubble shop. It's here. I ordered one of each flavor. So let's go ahead and open up the box. Oh God, this is probably very dangerous. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Bob, Bob, love. Wow, so it's actually packed pretty well. So that's a really good sign. So I think it's just like, like this fancy bubble wrap on each side. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the inside. And then I'm gonna put a couple of these in the fridge and then we're gonna do a taste test. We're gonna go ahead and open this up. It looks like it's just taped on all sides, which is honestly fine. Okay. So here we can see it's got a cute message on the inside and it does come with six paper straws, one for each glass. It's supposed to not dissolve in the boba. So that is awesome. Oh, we got a cute message here from her, uh, the founder. And it says, thank you so much for your support. This has truly been a labor of love for me. Hope you enjoy this version of boba as much as I do. With love, Diana, founder, Bob Love. All right, we're just gonna pop that out. And then here are the bottles. There's six per package. And here is the black bubble tea. So it's the black milk tea with tapioca pearls. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the guava passion fruit and the matcha as well. And we will do our taste test of this healthy bubble tea. You can also see on the side, it says zero grams of sugar, only six grams of net carbs. So it does claim it's keto friendly. Brewed from loose leaf tea, best served chilled and shaken, enjoy. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do the taste test and see if these can truly replicate what you're used to getting at the boba shop or at least feel that craving while not packing on 50 grams of sugar while you're at it. First one we have is the black milk tea. Sorry if it's a little glary. And this one is 50 calories with no added sugar, which is honestly the first thing that is so astonishing to me. 
and it only has 20 grams of carbs, which I don't know how many grams of carbs there are in a typical boba. I'm going to pop it up on the screen. And okay, so how she gets it sweet is it looks like it's 14 grams of sugar alcohol. So that is how she sweetens it. This bottle is also only 9.5 fluid ounces or 281 milliliters. That's for all three. And just the bottle itself is just super cute. She's got a little message on the back. You can see the boba on the bottom. And so this is really adorable. And I'm pretty sure so you're supposed to shake this. Yes, gently shaken. So we're gonna go ahead and shake it a little bit. So this is going to be the black boba tea. Let's get the, okay. So my first thing is just getting this plastic off, but I don't want, oh. Okay. So I didn't pull the plastic off in the most attractive way. So whoops. There's the pop, so definitely wasn't tampered with. So that's good. Her cute little straws. And let's see. Oh. Okay. It kind of tastes like a watered down boba tea. So, oh, my ring light died. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, so it does. It kind of tastes like if you've ever made milk tea at home with like mix in powders and you didn't put quite enough in. And then the boba, if you've ever had shirataki noodles, maybe like the thicker ones that are more shaped like macaroni, that's kind of what it reminds me of. It's sort of like watered down bubble tea with, I mean, I know it's konjac, which is the shirataki is made out of, so that's how I, I kind of know what it is. But yeah, that's sort of what it reminds me of. And even with 14 grams of sugar alcohol in here, it is not very sweet. But I see how this can be a replacement. That's the black one. We're gonna move on to the matcha. Matcha is one of my absolute favorite flavors. I am a huge, 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 huge fan. If matcha is available in something, I, it's probably what I'm gonna get it. Uh, maybe I can take the plastic off this one a little less terribly. That would be nice. Okay, I took this one off a little bit better. This one is also only 50 calories. This one has only 18 grams of carbohydrates and also has 14 grams of sugar alcohol in it. Go ahead and do the light shake. There's the pop. I can already tell by looking at it. Unfortunately, I don't think I can get it in the camera. Probably not. Ah, a little bit. I don't wanna like pour it out. You can see it definitely looks much more, uh, what's, uh, more liquidy than regular boba wood, which is that really thick, creamy consistency. Hmm, okay. I feel like the boba in this one is a lot softer than the one in the black tea. But again, it kind of tastes like it's missing flavor. Give me another one. So it does taste like matcha. It's very, it's there. I wish it was a little bit stronger. Honestly, so far, I think for a healthy alternative to a boba shop, she's actually done a pretty great job, even though I've sounded a little harsh. Finally, I don't know, okay. We're gonna go ahead and try the passion fruit oolong guava. This one has 18 grams of carbs and it has 14 grams of sugar alcohol. And this one is the 20 calorie one. You can see the nutrition facts right there. We're gonna go ahead and see how this one pans out. I actually do really like fruit teas as well from Boba Shops. Passion fruit green teas are usually really good or um, I have a local Boba Shop that does this fruit tea that actually puts the physical fruit inside the tea. I'm sure it's a ton of sugar, um, even if they're not adding extra sugar, even just the sugar from the fruit itself is quite a bit. Okay, so I guess my only packaging complaint would be the perforations to get this part off are the best. So we'll do, oh, is this one just out of shake? So yes, these all are supposed to be lightly shut. So we'll go ahead and do a shake and pop. Okay, so this is, 
Okay, for one that mimics a boba the most, I actually think it's the fruity. And I think that's only because there's no milk or it's, there isn't supposed to be any sort of mimicking of a milk tea because in fruit teas, it's truly just like a sweetened fruit tea. And then the boba in this one, I actually noticed when I looked at the bottom way before I even started filming this review that there wasn't that much boba in this one. And I don't know if that was just because it's this specific bottle didn't get much or that's just how she does the fruit ones. I do like the fruit tea, except there was like this aftertaste that hit me that tasted sort of fake um or that was like the sugar alcohol at the very end yeah there's definitely this like sugar alcohol aftertaste to this one but i know i've been a little harsh but in all honesty as a healthy boba alternative i think diana actually did a pretty good job i did buy three six packs so now i'm very dedicated into this maybe i should have just gotten a variety pack but i don't know i was gung-ho i was like so ready for this to be amazing i would definitely say go ahead and give this a try i will link it in the description below and i would probably give the black one a let me do it again like a six out of ten i'm gonna give the matcha a seven out of ten and the oolong i'm gonna give it an eight out of ten just because it is the one that reminds me the most of what i remember a fruit tea being like at a boba shop go ahead and check her out guys she just launched on april 20th and i think she truly did a good job she really had quite the challenge to recreate something that's very sugary and loved by so many people in the world and make a version that you too can love when you're trying to not have so much sugar in your diet. Go ahead guys, check out Bub Love. I think she did a fantastic job, honestly, overall. And that's it. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Go ahead, comment, like, and subscribe if you are interested in seeing more reviews, more of my fitness journey. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.